Tina and I am back with my shoulders out because, uh, clavicle, what? I have been having so much fun this summer with off the shoulder tops. I absolutely love off the shoulder tops. This is random as hell, but bear with me. I am not a cleavage person. Like you won't see me. All right, you will see me sometimes, but like I'm not the type to be like, ooh, have my boobies on, on display. Like I'm not a cleavage person. But let me get some shoulder action. I'll be like, ooh, get into this. And with the summer, and with a little tan, and all this caramel on display, child. <laughs> this is my thing. I love off the shoulder. Like, I'm not a midriff kind of person. Like, I'm not going to have that out. I'll have my legs out, but catch this shoulder, right? Right? Anyway, I am back with the second part of my haul that yeah i picked up quite a few things during my hiatus yeah way way too much and again i'm going to request that you reserve judgment because i did the most and i have like oh, and things are falling i have a lot of stuff to share with you guys in my last haul i did the eyeshadow palette but these are mainly face products so i have a ton of highlighters haul of the highlighters that sounds cute right like all of the highlighters but it's haul of the highlighters like y'all are y'all are not enjoying my puns y'all are not supporting me in my attempt to be witty so we're not necessarily gonna dwell on that just humor me a little bit. Let me feel like I am a funny person and that I'm entertaining in the very least. But we have tons. And when I say tons, like this is heavy. We have a lot, a lot of products to go through. So the ring comes off. I always take my ring off. And I don't know why I bother wearing the ring. But then again, it's like if you don't wear your ring in a video, people start speculating. And then with all the divorces happening, you never, you just never know. So... I'm gonna talk about all these highlighters and as usual there are tons of swatches available because that's what I love sharing is the shots of the products and showing you swatches so you can see all these products in all their glory. So let's jump right into it and like my last haul video I'm gonna start out with the most expensive and it's not even I thought it was more expensive than it actually was but it ended up not being as expensive as I thought. But I still think it's the most expensive highlighter I picked up. It's from Pat McGrath. And is it Pat McGrath or McGraw? I need to know. I think it's McGraw. But anyhow, Auntie Pat released her Sublime Skin Highlighting Trio. It's a highlighter palette. Comes in this fold-in cardboard packaging, which seems to be her signature now. Her eyeshadow palettes also came in this type of foldy packaging. So it's beautiful artwork. It's like a newspaper print. It has the name of the palette on the front. And then inside it has the little sleeve with the names of the shades. So we have three highlighters here. We have Iridescent Pink 3, Fine Gold 3, and then Bronze Nectar 3. So I think the 3 is just because it's in a trio. So these two shades, so the pink, irid the Iridescent Pink and the Fine Gold were from her very first highlighter collection where she had the Sea Queen sets. The Sea Queen. The Sea Queen sets. So they had the highlighter powder, there was a balm, like a cream highlighter stick. I think there was a brush maybe, something else, but I never got those. I was not interested because it just, the packaging looks so cheap. Even though her eyeshadows that she did, like the little single eyeshadows, they look so cheap. I was like, I don't care how good the product is. The packaging looks so cheap, I can't do it. And I did do a couple of her lip sets and I, yeah, uh, I... I am not even like a stickler for packaging necessarily, but when it just looks so cheap, I can't. And I really love those lip products, but the packaging threw me off. Anyway, I am glad I didn't pick those up because these two shades are repeated. So if you already had them, then these are the same shades. And then she tossed in this extra one that was not released before. And I actually really like this um, collection. Like I like the shades in here. They're really smooth shades. And even though they look like they may be too much like once you blend them in they don't have that white well a little bit but not too much like the white cast is kind of gone it's more like a golden hue but even on my darker skin tone those still come off a little bit too high shine like i'm not the type of person that's into high metallic sheens from highlighters so that's not my best bet but 
you can mix them and that's what I like like you can mix the bronzy tone with the pink which would give me my perfect kind of highlighter because I love a beautiful pinky gold highlighter so that guy was $68 originally when they did the pre-release to VIB Rouge members so you had early access it was $68 but then when I picked it up it was $50 come to find out they overcharge people and they had to do a whole refund thing but they did give you a credit on your Sephora account if you you know if you purchase that highlighter during the pre-release but I mean I like it um $50 is a little bit steep but it's Pat McGraw and there are three shades in here so I don't think like it's a bad price point and I like that Pat is trying to do cheaper price points now because her brand was just so obnoxiously priced that I just couldn't get with it right now we can just jump into a ton of Becca highlighters oh my god so I went crazy with Becca highlighters they released some limited edition shades some fun shades and I I think Becca highlighters they're just hands down the best on the market and I find that you can vary the intensity of Becca highlighters like you can really blend them into the skin to get just subtle sheen or you can really build them up or even layer them with a cream or apply them damp or spritz them with some fixing spray to get them really intense. I prefer a subtle sheen myself and I like the Becca formulation because it's not full of glitter and sparkle. I hate glitter and sparkling highlighters and I feel like these are so finely milled and so creamy and buttery that they can melt into your skin. Anyway, they released quite a few shades, new shades, and I love that they do different packaging for the different shades because one, you can tell which color you're picking up but it's still opaque packaging and it's still solid so it's not necessarily gonna break because these break easily if you drop them they break well not all of them but like they're notorious for breaking easily so be careful with them but this shade that I picked up this one is dream sickle and it was limited edition I don't know if they still have it available and the white packaging oh, this is so beautiful so you open it up it has like a little swirl right this is a beautiful um peachy gold it is so gorgeous and i think it works so well on medium deep skin tone because it is that peachy orange shade i don't know probably on darker skin it would look better because i find like some of these highlighters that look stark on my skin tone i put them on my friend she's darker than me and they look so fantastic and i'm like I, you know what I am mad at you because my skin just made the thing look too intense, but Dream Sickle, this is like a dreamy shade for me. It's so gorgeous. Absolutely love that. Then they came out with um, Royal Glow. This came out for its um, the Royal Wedding, so you know, all that good stuff. Meghan Markle married Prince Harry. Is it Harry? Who's the other one? That's Charles is the daddy. Who's the other guy? Is Charles the other one too? I don't know them. I I'm never I don't keep up, but they did a royal wedding and so they released this royal glow to match this. And this is in more of a shiny silver packaging. And inside you have this beautiful, it's a champagne highlighter, and it has a um a crown embossed in it. Or yeah embossed and this is also very beautiful but it's not much different from like some of their other shades I just think they did it for the royal wedding itself again limited edition this is a really beautiful subtle glow again it's more like a nudie champagne like a, a nude brownie shade with a little bit of shimmer to it but it's not overwhelming and I really like this as well on my skin tone this I think works better than dream sickle just because it blends in with my skin so well I really love this shade as well but I feel like with Becca they release so many shades that some of them are becoming repetitive and they kind of start looking very similar as you go along right but I still think they've done some really beautiful shades. Another one that I got was the Parisian Lights. Um, this shade was in collaboration with this chick here on the back. Who is she? Her name is Sananas. It's like bananas with an S. So I don't know how that's... I'm not sure. I think she's she is some kind of influencer. I don't know her again, but the color was beautiful. So I picked this up. This also is a silvery packaging, right? And this one has 
a Parisian theme. So it has the embossing of the Eiffel Tower in here. And this is more of a pinky champagne. Now this one is really light, but it still comes off. Wow, that is a lot. Why am I putting on all this highlighter? By the time I'm done, I'm gonna look like a hot, shiny mess. So this one is a lighter gold champagne. The pink doesn't really show up, not on my skin tone anyway. It just, when you blend it in, it ends up looking like a gold. So that's what I mean by their shades are begin, beginning to look very similar. Because as you blend them out, they just end up looking like champagne gold on your skin. But I don't, you know what? I don't even love highlighter that like that, but I am obsessed with collecting the Becca highlighters. Don't judge me. I ask for no judgment. Next up, they released a chocolatey shade for deeper skin tones. I love this. Now, the thing about this is there are a couple of people who are like, oh, I can't even use that as a highlighter. Why would they release that shade as a highlighter? And I'm like, shut the hell up. Because we have seen so many light, bright, white highlighters, light gold, light pink, like all these icy highlighters. And finally, they release something for chocolatey skin. And you have the nerve to be mad. Like, go sit down somewhere, right? And I'm reminded of when Christian Leanne, and she did this right when they did the Urban Decay collaboration with her palette and whatever. And um, I think it was Huda Beauty that released a darker highlighter palette. So she had like bronzy tones, like really great for dark skin. And Miss, what's your name? Miss um, Christian Leanne was like, oh, why did they did swatches? And she's like, oh, why did you bother doing swatches of a highlighter on that light skin tone? Because they did like different shades of skin. And she was like, why did you bother? Because we can't use that as a highlighter anyway. And the, and she 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 was some she was she was ticked off by it. And everybody was like, Sh you know what? Every time there's a highlighter released, it's for lighter skin tones. Finally, they're releasing something that suits darker skin and you have the nerve as if there aren't thousands of other highlighters you could get. You're complaining about the one, the one palette that caters to darker skin tone. Like sit yourself, you sit your whole ass down. And I think that was a part of why that collection with Urban Decay went on sale it didn't do as well because one she wasn't that well known anyway and then she made that comment and people were like i'm not buying your crap and then well the kaleidoscope palette looked kind of sketch but anyway it's this beautiful deep bronzy gold shade and i can't necessarily use this as a highlighter but i can use this as a blush topper so if i put on like a nudie blush and I just want to add like a golden sheen on top of it I can and I don't mind doing that like a lot of my highlighter instead of applying it like a highlighter on the high points and like cupids like the way they do it that you think everybody needs to do it that way. I don't do it that way I can use this on just my cheek as a frosty top into my blush or better yet I could put it on my clavicle I could put it like on my body that did nothing. That did absolutely... I did not pick up any color with that. But I... Yeah, I did. Ooh, child. I can put it, like, you know, on my body. Because... And get a little shiny situation going on. So, I was all about it. And the reason I got this, even though I knew it wasn't... I'm going to get this all over my white shirt. Even though I love wearing white in the summer, too. Like, most of my videos, you're probably going to see a white shirt. Because all my shirts are white. Hey! But, um... The reason I got this, one, I want to show them, I want to support and I want to show them that dark skin products still sell. There's still a market for it. So definitely don't stop releasing it. I will definitely reach out and support and get that. So I definitely grabbed that. Now, one highlighter that was making its rounds. I'm going to come back to Becca in a minute, but I want to get into some other highlighters. So this is the Omrezy highlighter from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Is this even still available? I don't think so. It was limited edition, but they were going to do like um a couple more releases and restock so people could get their hands on it because everybody was going crazy. If you don't know who Omrezy is, she is like a glow goddess on Instagram and Snapchat. Like that's her thing. Like she's not even a YouTuber. Like she just does um, look at, look at me, what? I am doing the most. She is famous for just being beautiful. Like, she is gorgeous. Now, this highlighter, 
I don't like on me personally because it's a little bit too icy like it's very silvery on my skin tone and like I said my I know people probably like this shiny shine and they're okay with it being that icy but I'm not and I find that my skin tone doesn't necessarily work well with shades like this but it might work on deeper skin tones but if you're my caramelly skin tone I don't know that this is the best highlighter, but it's so gorgeous to look at. Like, I think she did a really good job. That was a great collaboration. Not many collaborations I give people props for, but that one I can definitely say was a really good one. Speaking of other beautiful collaborations that came out, Smashbox and Vlada. Vlada is a Instagram, again, um, artist. She does beautiful lip art. She's the one that did the metal dripping like the gold me metallic dripping lips that kylie cosmetics copied the heifer and i think even makeup forever got accused of it too they did something similar to her um dripping lips on what palette was that it was one palette that they did but she does that dripping lip artwork so she released a collection a full collection too with smashbox and she ink like you can see vlada all over this the packaging the uh, it's so beautiful and i could not resist i even picked up the eyeshadow palette that i was not intending on getting but it's i had to get at least one of these um pa um highlight palettes this highlighter because look at this rose like, like it's actually raised with the petals and it's beautiful and it's this rose gold packaging it's so gorgeous and then the actual the actual highlighter you open it and it's a rose, like, I can't, I, like, so much detail here. It's gorgeous. This shade is, which one is this one? This is Rosemantic. So there were, I think there were three shades. There, uh, and then there was one that was, um, exclusive to Sephora. So I got the exclusive one to Sephora, and then I got the Rosemantic one. There was a lighter one, too, but I knew that was not gonna suit me, so I didn't get that one. This is a beautiful, this is what you call a rose gold now. Because I can definitely see the rosy, t I am applying highlighter all over. But this, you can see the rosy hint to it. It's so, and it's so smooth and beautiful. It's a little chunkier than some other highlighters. So you can see like if you have texture, it's going to show up. And I have a little texture on my cheeks because I had breakouts and I just, my face has betrayed me. But this is so absolutely beautiful i love this and i love the packaging and it's definitely a collector's item now the one from sephora it didn't have the raised packaging instead it had this little print that was like it cheapened it to me considering that the other one looks so glorious but this one is more of a yellowy gold this one i'm not putting on this one you can definitely see the chunky glitter in this one so it's beautiful but it's like almost like you have to apply it damp or something or if you like that glitter you might like it i personally i'm not the biggest fan of that one it just the chunks the chunks didn't really appeal to me but moving on we have, of course, the Fenty and Rihanna highlighters she released. These, I don't think they're highlighters. Yeah, they're highlighters. They're the Kilowatt Foil Freestyle Highlighter Duos. Now, I got the shade Mim Mimosa Sunrise and Sangria Sunset, which is the purple, the pink and the orange one. It looks purple on here, but it's really like a pink, like a fuchsia pink. It looks purple. All right, who am I kidding? It's like a fuchsia pink because it has tons of purple to it. Now these, I don't know who's gonna wear these as highlighters. Here again, applying things. I have not applied, have I? Oh, I have not actually used these as highlighters at all. I actually used the other duo that I have as an eyeshadow. And I think that's what the majority of people might use these for, even though this pink can be, I got this one because the pink can be a blush. And I don't mind a glowy blush. And I like Rihanna's formula because she didn't do, except for Trophy Wife, that's like chunky gold glitter. This guy is more subtle and um, it will give you more of a sheen and you can use these as blushes. And I can definitely see myself mixing the orange and the pink to give a beautiful blush or just using these as blush toppers. So I was definitely excited about this. Um, 
I wasn't, you know what? I, I, I'm not going to lie to you. I wasn't that thrilled because when I saw the shades, I'm like, where is she going? And then the price points, so it wasn't like, oh my God. But I did go ahead and get a couple of these. I didn't get any of the lip products because I was not interested. But I did get these two shades. And I got the other duo in Sandcastle and Minted Mojito. Now this guy, this is the one I used as an eyeshadow. You have this taupey bronze shade that I can definitely see using as a highlighter. I'm going to put it on again. Let's see, because I used this one as an eyeshadow. And yeah, it definitely still works as a highlighter. Probably a little bit icier than I would choose. But I'm just going to... <laughs> I need to stop. Y'all stop me because I am doing too much with this right now. Oh my god. So, um, this guy... I love these colors on the eyes. They were really beautiful when I applied them to the eyes. And they are subtle enough to... You can get away with them on the face too. So those are really beautiful. Now, I also went ahead and grabbed some new highlighters. These are from Essence. I grabbed four of them. Now, Essence is available in Ulta. I think they were like $3.99 or $4.99. And... They released some extra shades. Their initial shade, I think, is nude. I think I have it somewhere. Is it? Is it one of these, though? It may be one of these. It may be one of these, and I bought a duplicate because I thought I had it. But anyway, they released their initial highlight, and a lot of people were really thrilled with that formula, and they're like, this is great. At the drugstore, you can get a cheap highlighter that's still beautiful. And I think it's this one. The Pure Nude Highlighter is the one I have. Um, that's the original. So I got the Pure Nude Highlighter in Be My Highlight. It's a baked texture and it's it's just really smooth and gorgeous and a lot of people seem to love this as like an everyday subtle highlight that gives you a glow without texture, without too much shimmer and shine and sheen and no glitter. So they released this one. So that's the Pure Nude Highlighter. The other ones they released, they, produ they released the Pure Nude Space Lighter which is this one is a pinky white like a white with pink but it's so white that you have to really blend it in to get like the pinky hue to show up so be careful with these you do have to blend that in it especially if you have darker skin tone then the other one is the pure nude cosmo lighter which is the green tone so it definitely has so if you're into those greeny shades or like those dual chrome highlighters these would be the ones you would get and then the other one is the pure nude sunlighter in be my sunlight oh the other ones is be my cosmo light be my space light okay so it's just be my whatever the name is on the front so this is sunlighter and this one is like a bronzy gold so this would be great for darker skin tones these are really beautiful definitely check them out I think these are essence did a wonderful job and at that price point like you can go to the drugstore and find those beautiful beautiful highlighters I also grabbed some Milani highlighters so I saw these in store and I was like uh yes please and this is from their new collection Milani does some really great products they are like an un sung hero in the drugstore they're a little bit pricier but i feel like they've been coming out with really solid products and these highlighters are really great these are the hidden hypnotic lights highlighters um, i think there were four shades i didn't get the number one because it was just way too light but a number two is luminous light this guy is a pinky gold hue everybody's doing this this is really smooth and the white um kind of blends out nicely to leave behind that pink so really like that one then you have luster light which is more of that peachy gold and this one is gorgeous this actually reminds me of the creamsicle one from becca because it has that peachy golden sheen and then the fourth one is flashing light this one is also like a peachy gold in fact they kind of look very similar flashing lights and luster light maybe um luster light is just a no okay luster light is definitely peachy that's my favorite one number three and then flashing light is definitely like yellow gold okay it has a little hint of um i guess like a little hint of peach but not as much as oh luster light is gorgeous oh my god that is oh my god that's so gorgeous like why didn't i know then I also got 
two of the Master Chrome um, highlighters from Maybelline. So they have Molten Gold number 100 and number 50 they released this one. It's Molten Rose Gold. And I saw these again. I'm in the drugstore like perusing the aisles like, ooh, what you got? And they have these. So I was like, all right. I think Molten Gold, I already, this was one that was already available. These again are beautiful highlighters from the drugstore. These are so creamy. These are not baked. These are more like a gelée formula. They're metallic. The Molten Rose Gold is more of a peachy, pinky gold, but these are also very beautiful. I prefer the Molten Gold. It's not ye as yellow gold as you would think. It, it's more of a peachy gold and i really like these these are really beautiful so if you're looking for highlighters and you don't want to break the bank the drugstore has some really great options and they are really stepping it up i really i really enjoy those i'm gonna stick with um some more drugstore stuff because i did end up getting some wet and wild highlighters so this is their is it the Flight of Fancy collection, I believe that's the name of it. These are with the Hummingbirds embossed on the products. So we have Hummingbird Hype. I got these as highlighters. The Hummingbird Hype, these are so gorgeous. Plus they have Fancy in the name of the collection, so it's me. But anyhow, Hummingbird Hype is another beautiful peachy gold. I could get into these. And these are from Wet n Wild. Let me tell you something. Wet n Wild is doing it and they're doing really well. Like the drugstore is, I am so proud of you guys. I am so proud, thank you. This is gorgeous. Again, they release them as blushes cause it says baked blush, but there is no way I'm a, how, how, no way. This one is um, don't flutter yourself. You should have just added bitch to that. But this is like a light icy pink. That one I wouldn't necessarily get into because it's so icy. And then they have Dare to Soar, which is that um, fuchsia pink. This one would be like a glowy blush. Listen, I would kill this blush. Let me put this on because I am putting everything on and I don't care. This is if you're into glowy blushes, which I actually like a nice glowy blush because I can get into it. Like, like I said, I will top my blushes with a little glow instead of doing like a highlighter highlighter. And I can, listen, I can appreciate... A beautiful glowy blush and they're not chunky again like I don't know like the drugstore stepped it up and they said you know what you want to do highlighters all right we can do highlighters went and while Milani and Maybelline came out and said we got you and that they did these are definitely gorgeous gorgeous highlighters so I have two of the new NARS highlighters so NARS redid their formulations for they're, I, I don't know if they did blushes, but they did highlighters. They redid highlighters and their bronzers. So they released the, these highlighters now. And I got the shade Ibiza. This looks like a medium tone nude. Like a nude shade with some peachy gold under. Like everything is peachy gold. This is gorgeous though. And the finish of these. Oh. They did so good. They're so finely milled, so refined. They're gorgeous on the skin. I love these. So Ibiza is that. And then I got Maldives or Maldives. How do you pronounce that? Maldives, I think. Yeah, one of them something there. But they're doing all these tropical island names. So this one is, um, this one is more of a rosy tone, like a rosy, yeah, like a rosy bronzy shade it has a lot of pink to it I like this as well and like I said the sheen on these it's like you get this icy sheen without the texture and the chunk and the glitter and all that good stuff so these are beautiful all right why am I I just throw the boxes out by now because I'm done gorgeous gorgeous highlighters and I did get one indie brand highlighter this guy is from Give Me Glow Cosmetics. It's their Abstract Gold Collection, and the shade of this is Halo. I saw this on Instagram, and I instantly went, this is a white gold highlighter. I have no business getting this, because truly, like, what am I gonna do with this? But, oh my God, just look at, it's, the texture isn't as refined, 
But this is like, this is, look, look, look. It's like, I don't, I, I don't, I wouldn't, I, oh, I can't even talk because I would never, but look at that. That's like, Trophy Wife should have been this, this texture. It's like Trophy Wife, more refined without the chunky glitter. And that is beautiful. I would never put that on my face. Or should I? Should I? I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna lightly dab it. I have so much stuff on my cheeks right now. It's not even bad, like if you really blend it out, hey, like it doesn't even show crazy. That is gorgeous, but this is just so beautiful. And it's like, it was so gorgeous. It was calling my name and I ordered one of their palettes. So I got this as well. And it's really nice packaging and it's what? Cruelty free and there's 0.28 ounces. So you get tons of product in here and I am happy with it. It's really gorgeous. It's a really gorgeous highlighter. All right, so now we're done with the highlighters. The next one I got was the Urban Decay All Nighter Waterproof Setting Powder. I have not tried this yet, but it said all nighter, it's mattifying, it's long wearing, it's for me because I have oily skin. And they released this kind of like a summer edition product. And Urban Decay has been releasing a lot of products lately. And a lot of them go on sale. But you know what? I'm I'm okay. I'm okay. <laughs> I wanted to try the powder out. Because I love... You know my favorite powder is the Urban Decay Ultra Definition Powder Foundation. So I was not against trying this guy out. I have not tested it out. This is the first time I'm actually applying it to my skin. It's like a really light looking powder. And let me look. Mm, I don't know because I'm applying it over everything else that I have on right now and I guess it's like a blot of blotting powder it didn't I definitely it looks light but it didn't add like any lightness to my skin so I might be into that do you see the scar right here I don't want to talk about it but I did get this all-nighter powder and it's said to be um, waterproof too it sets it says you feel nothing, yet it instantly sets foundation. Yeah, like I feel nothing. It doesn't look cakey from that application. Control shine and creates a blown out effect. So it's supposed to give like a blurring effect. I'll use this in a get ready with me video and see how that one goes because it seems, it seems to be promising. I also grabbed the Hourglass Translucent Setting Powder. Where did I put it though? I found it. Okay, so this is the Veil Translucent Setting Powder. This guy, translucent, the packaging is cute. It's meant to be translucent. It's not, like I feel like it gives a little bit of a, like a light cast on my skin, but it's not too much. I love the packaging, but it does really do a beautiful job of like setting the skin and It does really look smooth on the skin, but I do prefer the long comb powder over this one. Oh my god, I really got it all up in my eye. Oh my god. But it's a nice powder. So if you were, like, curious, it's not a bad powder at all. But if you can get your hands on the long comb powder, this absolute powder, this is really beautiful. And it's not, like, glowy, shiny, glittery at all. This is, like, just a beautiful... It just makes your skin look really nice. While with the Veil powder, I feel like they're a little bit like, it looks like crushed diamond particles in it that gives a little bit more glow to the skin. So depending on what you're into, you might wanna try one or the other. Going back to Becca, like I mentioned that I would, I did get the Be A Light um, palettes. I got both of them because I ordered the medium to dark one which is in the rose gold packaging so they differentiate it with the shade of gold so the light one is a yellow gold the dark one is a rose gold and i love this one so much that i went ahead and got the other one so in here you have four products you have a blur powder. it's a what is it blur powder a brighten powder so they're not like this one is your brightening powder. So you apply it like anywhere you like like some brightening. And then the blur powder is more like a finishing powder. And that's the thing that I think people don't realize. 
These are meant to be like finishing powders rather than like a full on setting powder. And I do like them. You do have to kind of use a special brush for this. I feel like this Tarte Powder Player brush works really well with the blurring powder. Like my skin does look blurred and it looks really beautiful without looking powdery. Like I don't look like I have a ton of powder on my face. And then the brightening powder, it just gives, I don't know, like it does something to my skin that I, it's like doing something that you can't quite pinpoint what exactly it's doing. But on my skin, it just works. And I love, love the blush color, even though, is it a blush color? Yeah, but it's really like a highlight on my skin. It's so beautiful. And then the bronzing shade, I don't feel like that one is dark enough to really give me any bronzing, but it still works to give a little bit of shading, especially where I apply it along my hairline. Because my hairline, what happens? You see, it gives a little bit of color, like a little something, but it's so subtle and subdued. And that's my thing. I love subtle. I don't like overdone things. And I feel like if you're looking, if you're used to Instagram kind of makeup, YouTube makeup, where it's like heavy and cakey and you need to see dimension right away or you don't think it's doing anything, the thing is it does. You see the dimension but it's not like discernible on my skin and that's what I like about this and I feel like a lot of people are gonna pick this up and say it does nothing because it really doesn't show what it's doing does that make sense like it's doing something but it's not really like discernible to the naked eye so I love this and I picked up the lighter one as well so you can see it and the lighter one I can use these shades now because I love the highlighter again I can use this as like a setting powder, the bronzer, and then the other two shades are more like brightening powders for my skin. They give a beautiful glow on the skin. These remind me of the hourglass powders, and I feel like Becca is coming for hourglasses neck because they're like, oh, oh, you have your diffuse and finishing powders. Oh, we got that too. We have the highlighters and we have that too, and I feel like I like them. But I can see how they're not going to be a cult favorite. Like a lot of people are going to be like the blushes don't do enough. They're not highlighty enough. And like we've come to expect like this. Oh my God, this impactful product. Meanwhile, it's just meant to be subtle and beautiful on the skin. So I don't know. I personally love them, but I don't know how others are going to feel about it. I personally love them. Now I'm going to finish up this haul with um, the last thing. So I'll just wrap this up. I have some lip products as well, but I feel like it's going to be too much to share them right now. I'll just, I won't even bother with the lip products. So I got the Max, the Max, I got the MAC Fix Plus Matte Prep and Prime, wait, wait, it's MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus Matte. That's the full name. Oh my God, that took too much. Um, it's a setting spray. Everybody loves Fix Plus, right? But it's more of a dewy finish. And they released like a glowy collection with like in pigment infused in it, which you can do by just putting pigment in your Fix Plus. But they did like pigment infused ones to give you like glow because you know, some and everybody is glowing. Like, look at my clavicle, you see that? So everybody's trying to do that while I'm over here like, can we be matte? Because I don't need like, my face right now looks so good with that Becca stuff. I'm telling you, like, just I don't know, like, just try it out it's so like unassuming and it does so well but anyhow this says shake it well so i saw puffin's wife use this again she did a video with this but she said and you could see it like there were white dots on her face when she sprayed this on so i'm gonna try it now i didn't experience that like i sprayed it on my hand and there are no white spots but I've experienced like the charcoal sprays from, who was that? Was it Cover Effects? Somebody did a charcoal spray and um, you could see, Basha, Basha did one. The charcoal spray, you could see the white dots. This I didn't see, like spraying it on my hand, like my hand went matte. When it, oh, that's nice. All right. Ah, I don't, oh, I don't like that spray on this. Does Do people love this? I personally, do not use Fix Plus to spray my, I don't, I've never used it. I use it for, I've only used it for dampening pigments and eyeshadows. I've never used it for setting spray. That spray is awful. That is not a fine mist. That is not cute. I don't love that. 
see the white dots like that to me and it's drying down pretty nicely you know what i'm gonna use that Ooh, maybe you got a defective one puffin's wife <laughs> she got a defective one because this is doing nice Ooh, but i do really love all these products and there's a lot you see how many things i got guys like this is so obsessive but i am so happy with all of these even though i'm not like the biggest highlighter person i am so thrilled with all these products i am gonna go nuts trying out all these things and just enjoying them i'm so happy with these products guys so um i gave you swatches because i wanted you guys to see the shades see everything and just enjoy some makeup porn with me I love makeup porn and I love sharing that with you guys because if I can <laughs> stimulate you in any kind of way, I'm okay with it. Yeah, that's that's too much. I'm going to leave links to all these products down below in the description box. Those links are affiliate links that I generate through Sephora or Ulta. Those are the places I love to shop. I prefer to shop through Ulta because their rewards points are better. But Sephora does carry more brands that I mentioned here. Check them out. There are definite things here that are in the higher price range and then some that are drugstore. And overall, like, I am not really disappointed in most of the products that I picked up. These products are really great and they're really making me happy. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And I will also leave links to my Instagram and Twitter page where you should definitely be following me along. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. Notifications don't even matter to me. Just... Check out my channel, check out my videos, come spend some time with me. I thank you guys for spending a lot of time with me because I take up a lot of your time because I chat a lot and I have a lot to share with you guys. But I love you guys and I will talk to you soon. Bye.